The Rabbit Who Lost His Hop. This is a character building story about joy. And one thing we learn about joy is it's the happiness that comes from giving or receiving good things. Stevie and Nancy knew something was wrong with Bouncer the Rabbit. They knew it as soon as they saw him. In our world, it's hard to tell a sad rabbit from a happy one, but in Agape Land, the rabbits have sparkle in their eyes. They have extra bounce in their hops. They have joy. But Bouncer wasn't hopping. He was shuffling slowly along. Bouncer's eyes didn't sparkle. They looked sad. Worst of all, Bouncer's ears didn't stand up perky and straight. They drooped down almost to the ground. What happened? the children asked their rabbit friend. All Bouncer could say was that he had traveled through the sunless valley the day before, and now he felt glum. They decided to take Bouncer to the doctor right away. Dr. Feelbetter looked deep into the rabbit's pink mouth. Mmm, he said as he looked at Stevie and Nancy and scratched his head. I'm sorry, children, but I don't think I can help you. Bouncer's not sick. The problem is that he doesn't have any joy. What should we do now, doctor? Stevie asked. We've got to help him somehow, Nancy chimed in. Well, you could try one thing, the doctor said. Go back to the Sunless Valley and follow Bouncer's steps. I, I mean, hops. <laughs> from yesterday. If he lost his joy there, maybe you can find it again. With that, Stevie and Nancy each took hold of one paw of their furry friend. Off the three went to look for Bouncer's joy. The Sunless Valley, just outside of Agape Land, was a gloomy place. A heavy mist blocked out the sun. Gray rocks covered the barren fields. No one liked traveling there, but everyone had to sooner or later. The three friends looked carefully along the road as they walked, but they weren't quite sure what they were looking for. What did Joy look like? Soon they came upon a very old man sitting in the middle of the road. The man seemed to remember Bouncer. So it's you again, Rabbit, he snapped. You sure were in a hurry last time I saw you. No time for me, but I'm not surprised. Nobody cares about anybody anymore. That's not true, both children said at once. Majesty the King cares about you, said Stevie. And we care too, said Nancy. Don't we, Bouncer? The rabbit nodded, and they all sat down with the old man and talked a while. Soon, the man cheered up. As the three friends said goodbye to him and walked on, Stevie thought he noticed a little twinkle in Bouncer's eye. Soon the road through Sunless Valley went by a pond, and the three searchers came to a quick stop. There, trying to see himself in the gray-brown water, was a bushy brown mope. The children had never seen a mope, although they had heard about the gloomy creatures. They walked by it as quietly as they could, but not quietly enough. Oh, said the mope, turning around suddenly. Who are you? What do you want? His gray eyes were wide with fright. We're travelers, said Nancy. Don't worry, we won't hurt you. She smiled warmly at the creature. Oh, my, said the mope. Please do that again. Do what? Nancy asked. What you were doing with your mouth, he said. Stevie understood. You were smiling, Nancy, he said. That's it, said the mope, smiling. I've been looking in the water and trying, but I don't know what to smile about. Whenever I have a hard time smiling, I just think about majesty, Nancy told him. The three taught the mope to pull up the corners of his mouth into a grin, and he became a happy mope. They left him smiling into the pond and went on their way. As they went, Nancy thought she noticed a little more spring in Bouncer's step. The trail went around a bend, and the trio soon met more folks who needed help. 
a young but very tired-looking woman sat among many dirty-faced children. All the children seemed to be crying at once. Why are they crying, Nancy asked. The woman did not even look up. Because I have no song to sing to them, she sighed. Well, said Stevie, our friend Bouncer will gladly sing them a song. Bouncer did not feel like singing. He looked at Stevie. Just think about majesty, Stevie whispered. He can put a song in your heart. The rabbit nodded his head. Then he stood up straight and began singing a tune he had sung many times before. Sing it together. Boing, 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 dippity, hoppy, dippity, hop. Once you hop, then never stop, never stop to cry. Boing, 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 dippity, hoppy, dippity, hop. By the time the song was finished, everyone was singing and dancing along with Bouncer. As Stevie and Nancy watched, their eyes opened wide with surprise. Bouncer's ears were standing straight and tall, and he was hopping higher and higher. He was his old happy self, or even happier. And so it was that Bouncer found his joy. He found it by thinking about majesty. And he learned that the more he gave this joy away, the bigger his own joy grew. Not only that, but from then on, he had the most perky rabbit ears in agape land. <laughs>